welcome back. This is night number 12 of the GeoComply Remote Darts League. And we have just one match remaining. Once this is complete, all of our 16 players will have played nine games each. We'll take a good look at the league table to see where things stand. For our last two players, though, it's been a night of highs and lows. Let's bring them both in now. John O'Shea and Lorraine Wynn stanley Well, Lorraine, absolute joy at picking up your first point of the campaign at the beginning of the evening against Darren Herrera-Winnie. Yep. But then the onslaught from James Richardson, what a performance from him. That was amazing. You can't knock that. I'd have had to be hitting nines against him to <laughs> to be anywhere near. So, um, yeah, it was definitely uh, living up to his new nickname, Flawless. <laughs> and the joker, John O'Shea, is with us. He's not always been smiling, though. You were really disappointed with the way that things started for you, John. A few missed doubles along the way there against James. But certainly made up for it against Darren in your second game. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't dwell on it too long, you know. Um, I get annoyed. I'm very competitive, and I get annoyed when I give myself chances and I don't take them, you know. Yes, no, nobody dies, like, you know, so I move on fairly fast. And, and you've done very well not to swear at any point, so thank you for that, John. I am doing very, very well. I am, I am actually proud of myself I haven't swore yet. <laughs> I just, I just hope you don't have a cat because you may have kicked it at one point. Yeah, does the children know what they do? <laughs> Bless them. <laughs> I'm sure they're safe and well. Uh, now let's get this match underway. It is the final one, as I say, of this whole phase of play. So, be interested to watch you two in action. Let's get you both warmed up and ready to. Yeah. Thanks, Thank you. Good luck, Thanks, John. Best of luck, Laurie. Good luck. Yes, the World Masters champions both. Lorraine in 2017 at the Bridlington Spa. She became World Masters champion. And for John O'Shea, well, he, it was two years later for him. He is the reigning World Masters champion. Picked up that title at the Circus Tavern. Two great old venues, but the venues for these players this evening. Well, John is based in Cork and Lorraine in Buxton, Derbyshire. For this final match of the evening, it's the rain that has the starting darts. Best of ten, of course. I'm ready when you are. I'm good, John. Good. Yeah, lovely. So, first leg, it's Lorraine to throw first. Look, John. Best of luck, Lorraine. Fifty-five. One hundred. you require ninety-five. Sixty-three. Sixty-three scored. John, you require one hundred and forty-six. Uh, and twenty. you require thirty-two. One 
24. Can you require 26? In two. Yeah, finds the double 13. John O'Shea to take the first leg. Second leg, it's John to throw first. One forty. One forty. Sixty. One forty. One hundred. John, you require one hundred and sixty one. The rain requires one hundred and twenty one. Ninety seven. John, you require seventy one. Fifty one. The rain, you require twenty four. John, you require twenty. One. I thought the double six was in there for Lorraine, but the second leg goes to John O'Shea, the double ten. Third leg, it's Lorraine to throw first. Sixty. Sixty. One hundred and One hundred. Rain on one three nine. Fifty-eight. Fifty-eight, and Lorraine on one one seven. Fifty-seven. John, you require one hundred and twenty-four. Fifty-seven. 
Fifty-eight. Rainy requires sixty. Twenty. Sean, you require sixty-six. Intrigue. Yeah, finds the double top, John O'Shea, to take the third leg. Fourth leg, it's John to throw first. Sixty. One, three, nine. On forty. Fifty nine. On forty. Fifty-seven. John, you require one hundred and sixty-one. Ninety-seven. Forty-one. John, you require sixty-four. Three. Yeah, the double 16 is there for the fourth leg, John O'Shea. Fifth leg, Lorraine to throw first. 60. One forty. One forty. Oh dear. Uh, seven. Sixty. <clears throat> One hundred. One hundred. Sean, you require one hundred and forty one. Fifty nine. Lorraine, you require ninety four. Twenty-five left. Sixty-nine scored. John requires thirty-two. One. It's in. The fifth leg. John O'Shea. His sixth leg. It's John to throw first. One 
on party. One forty. One hundred. One forty. Sixty. One three nine. The rain you require one hundred and sixty one. Fifty-five. John, you require sixty-two. Forty-six. John, Ryan, you require one hundred and six. Thirty-six. John, you require sixteen. One. Yes, it's game shot and the match to John O'Shea. Well, John, I'm sure you'd be the first person to know how Lorraine's feeling after that game. Uh, yeah. Mirrors what happened with you and uh, James Richardson, doesn't it? Yeah, it, you know what? That was probably uh, just scoreline. You know, I got away. I got away with maybe the first, the first, the first three or three legs there. Lorraine had shot the doubles as well. Like you know, Absolutely. six nil. That's not a six nil at all. Like, no way. You know, she deserved better than that. Like you know, she threw exceptionally well there. And the right, the, the the irony for you is you've been talking a lot about not getting your scoring going. You did get it going in that game. <laughs> Finally, get it going, and then my doubles deserted me. So. I don't know. I enjoyed it though. Great game, and John's finishing was outstanding. And the scoreline doesn't really reflect the game because I should have had I should have had those legs, and that's my own fault for missing the double. Yeah, for yeah. the first time, I think in me watching the darts, I nearly called a game shot before you said it when you went for double six. I thought it was in. It was so close. And that's I thought, why I wait for you. Just hit the double three. Just hit the double three. <laughs> yeah, that's why I wait for you because I, I thought that had gone in, but you had you missed the double 16, the first leg, as John said, the double 12, six and three in the second, and you had a couple of darts at tops in the third. So as John rightly says, it could have been three nil the other way. It could have yeah. been. And should have been, but... That's my own fault. But John, to your credit, I mean, you, you've been mentioning to us about the doubles and the frustration. You finished really cleanly there that whole match. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very frustrating because it comes and it goes, you know. You know, I just I just like to get to a double and just finish it. Just be done with it, like, you know. <laughs> if only it were that easy, eh? I know, I know, I know, I know. Well, I'm probably a uh... more critic. Uh, I know you are definitely your biggest critic. Um, look, we're not going to have to wait too long to see you two again. John, you're back with us in a couple of days' time, Monday evening, um, and a nice little group because you uh, join your namesake, Tony O'Shea, is with you. Oh, me father, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's, a good, there's a good story behind that. I'll wait till Monday till Tony's around and I'll tell you the story behind that. Yeah, but we it's look very forward to that. Yeah, but we've also got Larry and Laura, so it could get very confusing with the names. Yeah, I, I, I've never played Larry. I played against Laura in the mixed pairs. Myself and Grace Crane played Laura and Aaron in the quarterfinals of the Isle of Man mixed pairs. Okay, Just well, don't tell, us, don't tell us what happened, and we're going to hear about that on Monday. 
Okay. <laughs> and uh, Lorraine, the day after, Tuesday, three days' time, we see you taking on three terrific players in David Cameron, Richard Venstra, and Paul Hogan. Yep, it doesn't get any easier in this league, does it? But hopefully I'll be uh, able to keep the fire going till then and, uh, and hopefully give them some good games too. But hey, score lines aside, lots of positives for you this evening, surely, Lorraine. Loads, loads and loads. Felt so much more uh, comfortable oh. tonight. Uh, the, like I said earlier, it just didn't seem real before. But tonight against Darren, I actually felt nerves, which told me that it was real. Mm-hmm. And I, I needed to feel that. Um, and it, it sort of got the adrenaline pumping and... And yes, OK, didn't get quite the results that, that you wanted. But James had an outstanding match. John's finishing was awesome. Nothing you can do about it, is there? But for me, personally, I can take away that I've started to show that I can, I can sort of play darts. And I'm still not out of, like, second gear yet. Yeah, well, I don't think there's anybody that actually doubts that, Lorraine. We just uh, <laughs> hope to see it more on the Remote Darts League. And you've got six more games to, to come, so we look forward to that. John, you're on the up as well now, so uh, four points picked up. We're going to take a look at the league table very shortly. We're going to say goodbye to you both now. John, we'll see you in a couple of days, and Lorraine the day after. Thank you. Richard, can, I, can I just say, uh, well done to Lorraine, but can I just say, I never got to congratulate James. Uh, sure, earlier. Say it now. Yeah, I just wanted to say to James, uh, he, he got lucky today. He got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you congratulate him. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Richard. Thank you, John. Thanks, Richard. Well done, John. Thanks, Lauren. Thank you. Yeah, thanks to both our players. We can have a little recap of everything that's occurred this evening. It really has been some highs and lows, some interesting results. And if you look at everything there, I mean, the 5-5 draw right at the start. Darren Herodowini actually led 5-2. Lorraine got it back to 5-5 to pick up her first point of the campaign. John O'Shea frustrated in the second game, missing doubles. James Richardson stepped in 6-0. John came straight back with a performance against Darren Herowini to get a win on the board 6-2. And then we saw that wonderful performance from James Richardson there. His actual average in that match, 115.6, was the average 78 darts for those six legs. And uh, Lorraine wins Stanley. Nothing she could do there. James and Darren then fought out a draw. James this time was 5-2 up, and it was Darren that did the comeback to 5-5. Credit to him. And then we've just seen John O'Shea with that 6-0 victory. Great finishing, despite the great scoring from Lorraine when Stanley, a scoreline of six legs to nil. So this is how it all shapes up on that league table. Lorraine, with her first point of the campaign, is on the board, but she's down in 14th place. Uh, Darren Herowini there, still in 12th. Just the two points picked up, two draws. So he's a little bit adrift of the rest of them because from 11th, as you can see, up to third, there's only three points that separate that whole group of players. Nine players with three points between them. And in the mix, you can see as we work our way up, uh, the players of this evening, John O'Shea, seventh on 11 points. And James Richardson, as we thought, right back at the top of the table, level on points with Paul Hogan. Both of them remain unbeaten. Justin Thompson and Richard Venstra complete the top four. So going into tomorrow, we welcome back Darren Herowini and Tina Osborne, both players from New Zealand, of course. Justin Thompson has every chance of going top of the league by the end of tomorrow. And Jim Williams also involved tomorrow evening. We look forward to that. Thanks to everybody involved with the Geo Kapoi Remote Darts League. And we'll see you again 21 hours time for night number 13. It's going to be lucky for some. Good evening.